Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let me lead you on a journey of faith and hope, where divine power is manifested amidst the darkness of war. In Gaza, a land torn by conflict, God has wrought a wondrous miracle that profoundly touches the soul and renews faith. Today, I bring you an extraordinary testimony, a tale that resonates with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the heart of Gaza, where war and despair envelop lives, a miracle has occurred that echoes with God's grace. Over 200 Muslims have reported encountering Jesus, a clear sign of his presence and transformative power. Before we delve into this miracle's testimony, we must understand the context in which it occurred. Gaza, a region ravaged by war, has witnessed and continues to witness unimaginable suffering. The entire population of Gaza lives under siege, trapped amidst the city's ruins, with no chance of escape to safer areas. Amidst this chaos, a group of Muslim men, burdened by pain and loss, found an unexpected refuge, the Word of God, shared by faithful servants of Christ. These men, many of whom had lost their children in the conflict, were nourished, clothed, and cared for by Christian ministers operating in Gaza. Professor Michael Lacona, a servant of Christ and president of Risen Jesus Inc., has received reports from Christian ministers in Palestine about miraculous conversions. Hundreds of Muslims have embraced the Christian faith in these dire times, seemingly spurred by a prodigious event. These men, oppressed by the pain of war, have lost children and hope. Yet in the midst of their suffering, the Lord acted. During the reading of the Bible, during the sharing of Jesus' message of peace, a great miracle occurred. Jesus appeared to more than 200 of them in their dreams. These men, living in a context of great suffering and violence, found comfort and solace in Jesus' appearance, and following this miraculous event, they decided to convert to Christianity. An extraordinary event that surpasses rationality, a shared appearance by hundreds of men, an event that might seem inexplicable, yet testifies to our Lord's presence in places where human suffering and violence are strongest. Jesus gave strength and courage to those who had lost everything, brothers, sisters, relatives, and children. This is not the first time the Lord has used his servant, Professor Lacona, to lead people to Christ. Lacona, author of books such as The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus and Paul Meets Muhammad, has been instrumental in the conversion journey of Nabil Qureshi, formerly a Muslim and now a fervent defender of the Christian faith. Lacona's work has touched thousands of lives, bringing historical evidence of the Christian faith that has transformed many hearts. This miracle in Gaza should be celebrated by all Christians worldwide. It is a clear sign that God is working even in the darkest places, bringing hope and salvation. As we celebrate these conversions, we cannot overlook the challenges our Christian brothers and sisters are facing in Gaza. We, as Christians, cannot remain indifferent and in our own way, hope and ask that Israel evacuates Christians and civilians to safer areas. At this moment, Christians in Gaza are trapped in churches, running out of food, water, and medical supplies. It's a dire situation, with Palestinian Christians forced to live amidst the violence of war. Despite the hardships, these believers remain steadfast in their faith, witnesses to the saving power of Christ even in the darkest circumstances. The simultaneous dream appearance of Jesus to hundreds of Muslims, however, is a significant sign of hope, a reminder that even in times of great trial, God does not abandon his children. It should also be a warning to all those who perpetrate this barbaric violence that spares not even the children. Brothers and sisters, as we contemplate these events, let us remember to pray. Pray for those who have encountered Christ in their dreams, that they may grow in faith and find peace in the Lord. Pray for the Christians and civilians in Gaza, that they may find safety and relief. And pray for a peaceful resolution of conflicts, that the light of Christ may continue to shine even in the darkest circumstances. Let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss new videos and to join the community of faith and prayer.
May God bless us all.